One thing I wanna contrast here is the difference between a stem wall slab and a monolithic slab. A stem wall slab has this stem wall that we lay with concrete masonry units or block on top of a concrete footing that we've dug and poured. A monolithic slab is the footing and stem wall all poured together with the slab. So we would pour the slab, dig a trench, form it up, and the concrete all gets poured down at once. A couple of challenges with the monolithic slab in terms of insulating. We could insulate the perimeter by putting insulation on the outside, but it's difficult to protect the outside insulation from things like yard maintenance, weed eaters, damage, especially with foam board, uh, damage from getting impacted by flying debris when the, the lawn and yards being maintained. It also creates a challenge for what we're gonna finish that with. We can put stucco over the stone, but it adds another step and adds additional cost. So we prefer to go with the stem wall slab when we do our high performance insulated slab. Few extra steps, little more expensive, but in the end, we feel this is the best approach for getting that high performance slab that gives us the benefit of perimeter insulation without the risks of damage to that insulation on the exterior. The other potential downside of a monolithic slab is if the soil isn't fully bearing, if it doesn't have great load bearing capacity, if that monolithic slab begins to settle, then it heaves the slab back into the house. So if that outside footing of the monolithic settles on the outside, it's gonna heave and lift up and crack the slab on the interior. Don't have that issue when we pour this standalone footing, put steel rebar in it and lay the stem wall. The slab is simply supported around the perimeter, but continuously underneath.